Sony Pictures Classic just released Shortcomings, which is a movie, and it's the directorial debut of Randall Park. The summary from Google is, a struggling California filmmaker contemplates his romantic future when his girlfriend moves to New York for an internship. And so just based on that description, it's a very down-to-earth human story, right? It doesn't try to have superheroes or anything like that. And I appreciate those types of movies. The cast is wonderful. Um, and, you know, certainly I'm drawn to it by the aspect that it's about a filmmaker, right? Um, that tickles my fancy. And, of course, I love supporting indie movies. And when it's doing... Like, there's certain things it does really well, really well, and it fires on all cylinders, and that's really wonderful to see. But I think it just tries to go for one too many ideas um, and doesn't necessarily succeed in all of them. Now, does that ruin the movie? Not necessarily. I enjoyed it overall and can gloss over those because it does try to take those swings and, you know, do things differently than perhaps, you know, Hollywood romantic comedies and stuff like that. So I appreciate it for that. I'm always going to champion someone taking the leap and, and, and going for something a little bit different. And one of the things too, and certainly people on Letterboxd who have seen this and reviewed it, are pointing out that it is un, an unlovable main character, right? And so it's kind of like... Uh, you know, our way into watching him and, and, you know, is he going to become someone better? Is he not? And for the most part, people are drawn to it in spite of just kind of like objectively how much of a heinous person he is. And this is done because there are a few redeeming qualities that, that are brought to the table throughout. And so it's those moments where you as an audience member recalibrate and you're like, okay, you know, um, He's trying. He's, he, you know, he's just struggling in life, and um, he, he's trying to better himself, right? Essentially, and that's what the story is about: is figuring out one one's place in the world, and you know, uh, how to fit in, and you know, just move forward, right? And I think that's that's what works in its favor. It's a story about friendship as well. Um, it's not just about love necessarily, and. All those things, you know, that to me is when it's at its best, but sometimes just one too many ideas. But still, I think, worth checking out. Um, it's about an hour and 40 minutes, so it never overstays its welcome. So check it out. That's shortcomings. If and when you do, let me know what you think.